good day 3d vermont friends today i'm going to show you how we can complete our project using tinkercad start by clicking create new design when it launches you should name it i'm making my nifty building in wilder vermont uh, notice we cannot build in feet all we can do are millimeters and inches i'm going to stay with inches and my grid fits 200 by 200 so i'm just going to tell it okay I'm going to start by finding my building in Google Earth. I have hit search and typed Wilder Vermont, and now I need to find out how large this building is. They give me a nice top view ruler, so I can click on it, and I can measure it across and find out that it is 86 feet in that direction. I'm going to hit escape, and then I'm going to measure this direction so I can find the main part of my building. So it's going to be 70 by 86. I'm going to go back to Tinkercad and I'm going to bring out that cube. This side would be my 86 side. Click this corner and make this my 70 side. Now you may want to write all these numbers down as you do it. I'm going to just go back and forth between the project as I build it. So let's go. I'm going to hit escape again. Let's calculate this distance. So that's 12 feet. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I really got it right though. So I'm going to hit escape. That's 11 feet. I'm going to click escape. And so I'm going to move 11 feet in and I'm going to make a 12 foot by 32 foot chunk coming off the wall and that'll be the same on both sides so 12 by 32 11 feet in let's go back to the project now we're really not working in feet we're just working in millimeters so I'm gonna help myself out by clicking on the shape moving right to its selection and I'm gonna put it right on a millimeter grid line so now I can drag in this new box and remember this new box was 12 by 32 and then if I line it up with this back corner, and I'm just using the arrow keys, remember it was 11 that way. I'm going to make my life easier for counting. I'm going to go by fives. There's 10. Switch my grid back to 1. Notice I'm doing 1, not point 0.1. And there is my 12 by 32. I'm going to do Control D or Duplicate. I'm going to go back to those fives to move it all the way across. Just using the arrow key to nudge it to the other side. Does not quite connect. I'm going to use my back view. I like the back corner better. Click on it. Switch back to my one millimeter grid. Snap those over till they're connected. And then I'm going to take those three items and make them one large part of my building. Now we need to find a height. To do that, I first need you to go to the Chrome Web Store, and I need you to add the page ruler. Once you've got that added, it'll be right here, and then go back to Google Earth. Zoom out a little bit so you can drop the little Street View dude a little bit to the right of your building, or you can pick wherever it has to be for you. I have to go here so this tree is not in my way. Now this part should make your math teachers proud. We are going to use a spreadsheet. Uh, you can get a link and make a copy to this using the file make a copy choice from the video. Uh, we need a known distance and we're going to do the front of the building using that new ruler tool. So when you click it, it lets you grab the chunk you care about. And I'm going to do just the front of my building. Get it as close as you can to perfect. Notice the image is skewed so it may be a little off, but check this out. It is 781 pixels wide. So that we can go back to our pixels and we can change that number to 781. And then we know that the building was 86 feet. And then we can use these two numbers to calculate other things. Let's start with the height. I'm going to draw a new rectangle that just goes from the bottom to the top. Notice I always keep it nice and skinny so that way it's easy to tell, oh, the width was 8, but that height I wanted was 375. 
We type 375 pixels right here. Since we know three of the numbers, it is now just a simple proportion. If you double click the formula, you'll see it's just pixels times feet and then divided by pixels to get our solution. And then I've made it absolute so that you can copy it all the way down and it will calculate for all the ones you put in. So let's go back to our Tinkercad design and let's make it 41 feet tall. That is starting to look like the front of our building. Let's calculate a window click by simply grabbing a window and getting its measurements. It is 84 pixels high and 38 pixels wide. 84, press enter, and 38, press enter. So our windows are each nine feet by four feet, approximately. Let's return to Tinkercad real quick and let's make a window. I'm gonna cut my windows into the building. Here's my four feet wide. Here's my nine feet tall. Granted, remember these are all millimeters, but we'll worry about that conversion when we're done. And I wanna cut into the wall one millimeter. So that is what a window is gonna look like. I'm gonna drag that window right to the edge and I'm gonna sink it into my building so it's flat. Now let's figure out how high the window has to go. So we are gonna raise it up and over. So this is from the edge. We're gonna move 28 pixels uh, left and 98 pixels high. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. You can write in any labels you want. I just did these for my project. So there's my 28 and there's my 98. So I'm gonna move three uh, millimeters to the left and I'm gonna go 10 or 11 millimeters up. I'll see how it looks when I get in it. I'm still set to one, so there's my one, two, three. And then I'm gonna cheat to go up my 10 and just go two clicks. Now notice I'm using the cone or, watch this, if I change my work plane, which is the letter W, now the work plane is this wall, so the up arrow moves it up. I'm gonna change that work plane back to the ground because my next window has to go to the left. I'm gonna switch to my one millimeter measurement do control D which is duplicate and I'm just gonna tap it to the left and I'm gonna put that gap between it I'm gonna do control D again and it memorizes those steps and I now have my first set of three windows I'm gonna hide my building real quick grab those three windows and I want to make them a group because all of the windows go in threes I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna nudge that to the left and I'm just putting a double gap in between them. Let's bring back our building and take a look at how close that is to perfect. This was the show that brings it back. I'm gonna do height again. I'm gonna grab all of those windows and I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna do show. I'm gonna do duplicate. This time I'll use this button where it still shows you the control D. This time I'm gonna move by fives and I'm just tapping my left arrow to move it across to that wall. Notice my distance is already pretty accurate. If you want to make it more accurate, you can do your measurements back in Google Earth. That is up to you. I am definitely going to change mine and bring it one more click to the right. But I'm going to have to switch to the one millimeter move. Right there, I think, is a great match. I'm going to hold down shift and select both those sets of windows after I hide the building and then I'm gonna do control D bring back the building I want to go up but I don't want to use the cone I want to use the arrow keys so I'm gonna do my work plane again on the front of the building and now when I tap that up arrow my windows move up to the location I want them real quickly I'm gonna take a peek at my Google Earth and let's see what kind of gap there is between these two sets of windows it is height 43 so if I go back to my spreadsheet my between window measurement is 43 so that means I should be about five millimeters up let's double check if I come down here and go one two three four five now my windows should be the same distance I'm going to shut off that work plane 
take a look at it, take a look at it. I'm pretty happy with that, but I think I want to raise those up one more click. It just felt like they were a little higher on the real one. So, work plane, get it so it's on that front face. I'm going to hide the building for a second, hold shift so I can select both of those, and I'm just going to go up one more click. Show all. I like that better. And now I'm going to group everything so my windows are actually cut out. Let's put our work plane back to the ground. Take a look at our Google image. I want to add this piece of brickwork real quick. Once again, I'm going to grab the little measuring tool. And it looks like this one needs to be 319 across by 7 pixels wide. And its partner on the other side, 202 by 11. So it's by 11 pixels. The one that's 323 will be 35 across. The other one I'm going to put at 200. Let's add those quick and see what they look like. There's my 35. I'm going to have these stick out 0.5 millimeters. So they're going to stick out from the wall. Let's see what this looks like if we go one millimeter high. I think that is a good number. I'm going to do control D to duplicate that and bring the other one over here. And then all I have to do is take that measurement and change it to 22. Move my brickwork to the wall. Remember these are going to stick out. Let's make sure I actually connected them and I did. And let's quickly check how high they need to be above the ground. So that height above ground number is 41. Back to the spreadsheet. And that height of ground is 41, which is 4.5 millimeters. So let me show you another cool trick. I'm going to lift this up wackadoodle numbers, but then I'm going to go over here and type 4.5 and press enter. Bam, it goes to the exact height. Once again, grab the cone. Sometimes you need to switch to a corner view so you can get the cone to turn red. Lift it up, click the box, type your real number, and all of a sudden, you have got the cool brickwork added to the front of your building. I'm going to group those pieces all together. I'm going to change them to a color of white or gray just because I think it looks a little cooler. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to call this the end of lesson one. Hopefully you've learned a lot of cool strategies. You can keep working on this as much as you want while you wait for lesson two to appear. If you found these techniques useful, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Good luck on your competition and thanks for watching.